This is so, so hot. I tried to run Minecraft on one of the cheapest computers you can buy, the Raspberry Pi 4. However, it did not go to plan. Yeah, it's very, very choppy. The gameplay was pretty much unplayable. It was very slow and not a very good Minecraft experience at all. Today, I'm going to try and optimize my Minecraft Raspberry Pi experience. We're going to be pushing this thing to its absolute limit to try and get the maximum frame rate possible out of this tiny little computer. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into optimizing the Raspberry Pi. All right, guys. So first things first, I have installed MultiMC. Lots of people in the comments told me to either check out MultiMC or Prism Launcher. For some reason, Prism Launcher just doesn't seem to work for me. But we've had some good luck with MultiMC. As you can see here, I've managed to launch 1.19.3. Now, this is going to be so slow. This is probably going to kill it, honestly. I wouldn't be surprise if it crashes now there's loads of different mods like sodium and fabric that are available on the latest version and there's some really good mod packs as well which will really improve performance so yeah we're gonna first of all try and run vanilla and hopefully we can get as much performance out of the latest version as possible and then we'll try 1.8.9 and see if that makes any difference so yeah now we've just got to wait a million years for it to generate a world all right so it is launched and we're on 2 fps wow this is pretty bad so if we go into multi mc and go to modrinth here there is actually a really good thing that someone suggested called adrenaline which is i mean just look at that so you've got vanilla you've got sodium and then you've got adrenaline so we're going to try adrenaline and see what kind of performance we get so yeah to do that you just go ahead and you select it and then, yeah, you just uh, go ahead and launch it right from MultiMC. Really good launcher. I should definitely use it a lot more. Okay, so looks like I've got an error here. I need to use Java 17, but that's no problem. We just need to go here, have a look, change our Java to Java 17. One of these, we'll go with Open GDK, And then, yeah, just select that. All right, boom, we're in to Adrenaline right now. So as you can see, it says Fabric down here. So hopefully this improves our performance a lot. Now, you might notice on the main screen here, it says 32-bit system detected. There is actually a 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS. So if you want to see me install that in a future video, definitely let me know in the comments, and it will definitely help my performance. I was going to do it in this video, but it just takes a little while. So I'm currently running Adrenaline, and as you can see, it's basically just installed sodium and fabric but the graphics settings seem to be done all for us so all of the stuff here is on the best settings by default which is really good we're going to go ahead and turn off clouds so yeah there are a couple of settings here that i would change myself but it's pretty good honestly so uh yeah we're just going to go ahead and mess with all these settings i'm not very familiar with sodium i'm more of a kind of 1.8 optifine kind of person but i'll try and do my best to try and work out which of these settings that i should use and you guys can help me in the comments down below Right, so obviously the obvious one is turn down your render distance. We'll put that on about four. Simulation, we'll keep that about five. Got unlimited frame rate, which is good. We're going to turn off bobbing and all of this good stuff. So yeah, we're going to turn up our chunk updates to maybe about three. The really good thing about sodium is if you hover over any setting, it tells you in quite good detail what it does. So I'm just going to go through and uh, work out what I need to do here. All right, so just mess with some of the settings and the performance is already feeling much better. Obviously, our graphics have gone down in quality, but that's to be expected. I've turned down a lot of settings here. Now, there isn't actually a way to show your FPS for some reason on sodium. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to go with the old F3 test. Obviously, take this with a pinch of salt because this tanks our FPS. We're getting about, I don't know, 20 FPS. We've 10 times our FPS from two, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I wouldn't call it playable just yet. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what other stuff we can do on the latest version on our Raspberry Pi. So I am a genius. So I've gone ahead and I've installed a 4x4 texture pack, as you guys can see here. Just the first one that I found online. So yeah, it works pretty well. Not all textures work because it's for a slightly older version of Minecraft. But I mean, yeah, look at these textures. They look so cool. And also we're playing in small windowed mode right now. And as you can see, if I throw up my FPS... Oh, 82 FPS there on the Raspberry Pi. That is insane. We're slowly getting better and better performance with the Raspberry Pi. And I think decreasing our resolution is definitely helping here. So yeah, it's slightly harder to play, but it's definitely a lot smoother on Java Edition, on the latest version as well. So if we played an older version, we'd probably get even more FPS. As you know, F3 tanks FPS, but I just can't seem to find a show FPS setting. But yeah, if you want more FPS and you've got a Raspberry Pi or a low-end system out there, then 
then definitely check out the adrenaline mod pack in multi mc or prism launcher and yeah use a really ugly 4x4x texture pack here like i've got and uh yeah playing small windowed and you can get good fps so yeah i wonder what it would be like if we just played in like full windowed here yeah, this has gone down a lot. So we've got 80 in small windowed and now we're getting about 20. I wonder what would happen if we went into full screen. I don't really want to do this because it might crash, but let's try it anyway. Right, okay, we're in full screen now. Has this improved our performance? No, it's about the exact same as just playing in full screen windowed mode. So yeah, small window mode is definitely the way to do it. But yeah, I think we've got a pretty good improvement already, judging by how it was before. I mean, 2 FPS to 80 FPS, that is quite a jump all right guys so i've just hopped off the latest version and we're back on home turf we're back on minecraft 1.8.9 and yeah i've just loaded up a vanilla forge installation here and the performance is already pretty bad let's check out our fps really quick 7 fps so not far off the latest version but yeah now that i'm on 1.8 i know 1.8 pretty much inside out so we should be able to optimize this and since it's an older version of minecraft as well we should be able to get a lot more frames hopefully so yeah first of all i'm just going to go ahead and just uh change our settings real quick here and that's already made a bit of an improvement we're at 15 fps which was about what we had on sodium and fabric on the latest version so already it's looking pretty good. If you guys want to know how to get the best FPS on your Raspberry Pi, do this. So I've installed 1.8.9. For some reason, I can't seem to get Optifine to work. So I've put my settings on pretty much the lowest they can possibly be on. And I'm using OneCraft, which is a one by one Minecraft texture pack. And we're also in a super flat world as well. And if we look up, as you guys can see, we're getting well over 100 FPS on the Raspberry Pi. We have done it. That's probably the best we're going to be able to get it. So yeah, 100 FPS. Honestly, I'll take that. I mean, I can't show the FPS without pressing F3 because I don't have Optifine. But yeah, really good gaming experience on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, I'd say we've probably pushed it to our limits now. There are some ways we could probably improve the FPS a little bit more. So I'm definitely going to install a 64-bit version of PyOS on here. And that should hopefully make our performance a lot better. And there's also Optifine and all that other stuff that I need to work out. You guys can help me in the comments down below if you want. And obviously with our performance and our really good FPS, we're starting to feel really hot. In fact, this is... Ooh, that, that almost like burns me to touch it. In fact, like that is so hot like you could probably fry an egg on this right now this is so so hot ow that actually hurt <laughs> don't put your hand on a raspberry pi if you've been playing minecraft on it for the last hour now lots of people told me that i should overclock the raspberry pi and i would do that but i just don't have adequate cooling i was looking into thermal pads and stuff like that for the raspberry pi however i've got something a little bit better I've gone ahead and bought one of these. It is a Raspberry Pi cooler. So basically it's a tiny little fan and a heat spreader that you basically just stick onto the Raspberry Pi. And yeah, you just mount the fan on top, plug it in and you're good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and install that. Okay guys, so I've unplugged the Raspberry Pi. So the instructions here says to basically just peel off the different size thermal pads and put them in the right place, which I've done hopefully. So now it's just a case of taking our fan, which fits on just like that, and then using these two screws to screw it in to the other side. So yeah, it's pretty simple installation. And then we just need to connect it up with these fan headers. And then we should have one cool Raspberry Pi. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's on right here. I just need to install one more screw. So yeah, what's come included is a magnetized mini screwdriver, which also came in the box. So yeah, basically, you just need to uh, screw it in from the back. And then yeah, your cooler should be installed onto your Raspberry Pi, just like that. So yeah, I went with this one because it's kind of low profile. It doesn't really get in the way or anything. And I could probably put the Raspberry Pi in its case and still have this cooler attached. Probably not the best for airflow, but yeah. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and connect up the fan headers now. I'm going to have to refer to the instructions to do that because that looks quite difficult. But yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll work out which pins to connect the fans to. And then I'll connect it all up and we can test the performance now. All right, guys, so I've just plugged in the Raspberry Pi and it works. As you can see here from the desk cam, the fan is spinning and it's surprisingly really quiet. So yeah, I'm really happy by this. It's a low profile cooler, should keep the Raspberry Pi cool and the fan is just deadly silent. So yeah, it's really good. Really glad that I did it. 
So yeah, that's a pretty good product. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's not sponsored, by the way. So yeah, we're going to try adrenaline here. Let's go ahead and open that up. But yeah, it's been a very long day of problems with the Raspberry Pi just trying to get Minecraft to run. So if you appreciate the content, then please leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments. I've obviously got the cooler now, so hopefully that should make things a little bit easier. And hopefully we won't kill our Raspberry Pi either because of how hot it was getting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load up our super flat world here. See if it's made any performance different. I don't think it will personally, but we'll see. I definitely need to get a 64-bit Pi OS, but I'll do that in another video. All right, so we're here. We've got our 4x4 texture pack on, our super flat world in window mode. Okay, it doesn't really seem to have made much difference, really, looking in the air. Okay, we're getting 70 FPS. Not bad at all. Again, not much. But bear in mind on the latest version, there's so much stuff on the screen. So yeah, that's definitely probably hurting our FPS. But yeah, let's say we're getting about... 80 fps i don't know i think we got a bit more on vanilla 1.8.9 for some reason it's a bit annoying i couldn't get optifine to work but there we go so yeah what have i proved in this video i've proved that you can play minecraft on a raspberry pi you just need to put your settings on the absolute minimum play in windowed mode use a low resolution texture pack and a cooler will definitely help because you don't want your raspberry pi getting too hot otherwise it will probably shorten its lifespan so yeah and now conclusion thank you guys all for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed and yeah it's just been a very long day of messing with the raspberry pi for me i'm ready to take a break now so yeah let me know what else you want to see me do on the raspberry pi so yeah thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace